Hi guys, I'm Talisa with Talisa Aquarist, and I just barely received a special package. My giant betta fish just arrived today. He was supposed to be shipped out next week, but change of plans, and he ended up arriving today, which is perfect. I have his tank all ready for him, and I wanted to do the unboxing video now. And he is alive and well look at him wow he looks so much bigger in person than he did like in the photos can you see him well oh he looks healthy he's so gorgeous i ordered him from moonlight betas and she packaged him very well and she gave me a cute little token with her logo on it the heat pack is still very warm so overall, I've had a great experience buying from Moonlight Betas. You can find her on Instagram. I don't know if she has a Facebook account or not, but you can find her on Instagram and her storefront, like the link to that is also on her Instagram. So yes, you can go look at Moonlight Beta and she has 50% off. Several of her betas are 50% off right now. So go check her out. begin acclimating this little guy. I'll just stick him in here for a little bit. And I asked you guys to guess what I was using my 40 gallon breeder for and none of you guys were able to guess it, which I didn't think you would because who uses a 40 gallon breeder for a beta fish? Um, but specifically, I have it set up this way for breeding beta fish. So I got this giant koi male and I want to breed him to my koi female named Fable. Some of you guys may remember her. And so the goal was just to have a shallow body of water that was still quite large for all the fry once they start swimming around. So I added 15 gallon of water to this tank and I added lots of tannins. I set this up on Thursday and the water is already turning brown, which is, makes me so happy. Beta fish love tannins. They thrive in tannins. There he is, just chilling. I think he will love this tank, and I think the beta fry will love this tank as well. Hopefully, I can get a successful batch of beta fish um, using this tank. So he's been see. acclimating long enough in this bag. The water temperatures are about the same. So now I'm going to release him into his tank, and we'll see what he thinks. Oh, look how beautiful he is. I'm in love, guys. And no, I still have not decided on a name for him. Some of you guys suggested some really cute names. I just have not found one that's like, oh, yep, that's it. So if any of you guys have suggestions, please leave them. He looks pretty happy with his tank. While he is adjusting to his tank, I think I'm going to explain to you guys why I set this tank up the way I did specifically for breeding. All right, now to explain why I set the tank up the way I did. Um, I wanted the water to be shallow enough that he wasn't, like when the egg falls or when the beta falls from the nest, he could easily swim down and grab it and not be swimming a lot. But when I released the female, I wanted there to be plenty of space for her to swim around and plants for her to kind of get behind um, so that he wouldn't be able to see her and just always be angry at her. Now they won't be together very long, obviously. I'll have them spawn and then remove them. He's just so beautiful. He's distracting me. <laughs> Anyhow, so I added some moss in here for the beta fry to be able to hide in as they get a little bit older and they can also eat food from. And these leaves should be sunken in by then and the catapa leaves will also provide, be like a good food source for the beta fish. Obviously I'll add other food in there as well. 
and I added this hang on the back or also like suction, suction cup to the back of the tank plant holder with some pothos in it. And my thinking was the betta fish, the babies can swim into the box and the dad won't be able to get to them. Plus the pothos will also help keep the water clean. And I have some root floaters, some water lettuce and duckweed to be specific. And you'll notice I didn't add any substrate. I could have added substrate, um, I didn't. And you guys are probably wondering why I have a 40 gallon tank. So the reason I have a 40 gallon tank and the reason it doesn't have substrate and it kind of ties together. We are planning on moving later this year and I didn't want a bunch of big tanks to move with me, but I wanted a fish tank for breeding betta fish in. But I have so many small tanks like over here and in my living room, I just have enough small tanks that I want to, I don't want to buy any more small tanks. I just want to get larger tanks. I also don't want to be moving a bunch of large tanks when we end up moving later this year. So I figured a 40 gallon tank is not going to be too hard to move and it's going to be that much lighter if there's no substrate in it. And I don't need substrate if I'm just using it for breeding betta fish, right? And I may not even end up adding substrate to this. Once we move, I might make this into a planted tank or I might use it for my axolotl who is right here. Sorry, the glare is horrible. But she might get upgraded from a 20 gallon to a 40 gallon breeder. So there's just a lot of moving parts and I wanted a 40 gallon breeder for once we move to be able to set up and use it. And so I was like, you know what? Instead of getting like a 10 gallon tank that I use and then have no use for once we move, when I get a fish room and stuff, I will just do a 40 gallon breeder and just not set it up permanently and just use it for breeding betta fish until we move. And then I'll probably get one or two batches of betta fish from this and then I can set it up permanently in our new home but yeah, lots of moving parts. I know it's kind of strange to be using a 40 gallon breeder to breed betta fish in. But I was thinking also once the babies get big and are swimming around more, I can fill the tank all the way up, add way more plants and just let them grow out together and see if they, if there's no aggression with the amount of plants I would have in here. Still no substrate, but just lots of plants that don't need substrate to root down in, like java, fern, and moss and anubias and the babies could just all grow up in here i can do frequent water changes and then as they get more mature i can start selling them off and let me tell you guys these babies are going to be beautiful if i can get a successful spawn i have never bred betta fish before i am no expert i don't really know what i'm doing but i've done research and i've decided that i'm going to learn how to breed betta fish and i'm going to do it well so hopefully it goes really well. Um, I think he's a beautiful male and I love, I'm seeing that he has like some purple and pink to him. Oh, he's gonna come over and say hi. He's already curious. He doesn't act like shipping phased him at all. Um, but Fable, the female, she is has like a purplish reddish tint to her as well. So I think they're going to have some gorgeous babies. Well, I think that was a really fun unboxing video. I was so nervous that I would like get the betta fish and he would arrive dead or something. <laughs> I have not ordered a betta fish from a transporter or a betta fish breeder or anything ever because I've been so nervous about the betta fish like being all stressed or arriving dead or something. And this guy has been like he looks healthy, he doesn't look like he's lost any coloration, he's not pale, his fins aren't clamped, he's curious, he's already swimming around looking for food. Um, so I would say the experience buying from Moonlight Beta has been a 10 out of 10. I could not be happier. I'm so excited to begin breeding. Hopefully he is a great dad and hopefully I can get a successful spawn. Like I said earlier, I don't really know what I'm doing. So if you are a professional beta breeder, please drop like your pro tips down below in the comments. I will read every single one and I will be very grateful for them. All that being said, if you are as excited as I am to see what 
my betta fish produce, my two koi betta fish, please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. After filming, I reached out to Moonlight Betta to let her know that the betta fish had arrived and he's healthy and I was just thanking her uh, for making it such a great experience and she offered to give me a promo code to use when I buy betta fish but also for you all to use to save 15% off when you guys buy a betta fish from her. The promo code is Talisa15 and I highly encourage you to go check out the betta fish she has on her shop. She has beautiful half moons, she has alien betas, giant betas, uh, they're all beautiful and she has a new shipment coming in in February so that will be fun.